In this lecture, we are going to learn about stacked histograms. Stacked histograms are the smarter way and a better way of representing resource histograms. I have this project open to which I have assigned resources to different activities and then in order to see the resource allocations, I'll go to resource usage profile. Once I click resource usage profile, you can see here the resource histogram. It shows me allocation of different resources on the basis of months. If I right click and select time scale, and change this time scale to week, month and week, click apply and click OK. Now I have this histogram on the basis of weeks, which means it shows me allocations of resources on the basis of weeks, how many hours of work each resource is performing on the basis of week. As you can see here, I have assigned resources Mary, John, Rahul and Alta. If I highlight any of the resources here, it will show me its allocations on this graph. However, if I want to see all the resources allocations at one time, what I need to do is I control, I hold the control button and select all the resources. Let's say Mary, John, Rahul and Altaf. I have selected all of them and now I can see their allocations. But it's difficult to see from the graph that how many hours in this week John is working or Mary is working or Rahul or Altaf is working since the color is one and same yellow color. But stacked histogram gives us a better way to represent these allocations which I am going to show you now. In order to create the stacked histogram, I will simply right click here and select stacked histogram. Now you can see there, I do not have any resources on left hand side and my right hand side the graph here is also blank. Now my next step is again right click and select resource usage profile options. And once I select resource usage profile options, I will go to the data tab here and then select pattern color so that I change the color for each resource. I will click the add button here. First one I want to select is Mary. I will name this resource. I will name this filter as Mary and select the resource ID of Mary here where resource ID equals. So I am creating a kind of a filter with different colors Mary. I will simply click apply, click OK and now Mary has a blue color. I will add another filter for another resource. Let's say I select the resource ID as John and I must name this filter John. Click apply and click OK. John automatically gets green color. I can change the color as well as the gradient of the bar. Similarly, I will go on adding all the resources which I have assigned to my, to my project. To this project, I have assigned four resources. So I will create four different filters. Again, I will go to add and select the resource ID and its value, this time Rahul. And I will name this filter as Rahul. Click apply and OK. Now I will add the last one since I have the last resource. I will select its resource ID here, Altaf, and name its filter as Altaf as well. Click apply and click OK. Once I have done this, I will click apply and click OK. Now you can see here I have got a very beautiful graph here with Alta, Rahul, John and Mary displayed in different colors. So if I look at this graph on 6th of August to 13th of August, I can see that Alta and Rahul and Mary are allocated in this graph or in this week. Similarly, if I look at this week here, I can see that John in green and Mary in blue and Rahul in yellow are allocated. So it's a better way of representing the resource allocations. Now if I change my time scale to month, let's say I change it to quarter and month and I apply. It gives me a much beautiful graph than the one we use when we are using the normal histograms. Now you can also print this graph. In order to print this graph, you can go to the print preview option. Once you click print preview option, then you go to the op page setup tab here. And in page setups, go to options tab and select profile while as deselect activity table and Gantt chart and click apply. Also in the options tab you need to set up the time scale. Let's say the time scale is project start till project finish. Once I click apply here, I will see this graph visible here and you can print it. So this was about stacked histograms which are much better and prettier way of representing our resource histograms.